Hello and welcome to Pangkaraniwang Developer Program Structure Track. Sabi nga natin, dadaanan natin yung mga programs muna bago nyo didiretsyon yung actual na pwede nyo gawin doon sa isang program, yung mismong program structure. Kasi mas mabuti at least meron kayong idea kung ano yung itsura ng mga programs bago yun nga, babaklasin natin na lang later kung ano yung mga pyesa nila at ano pwede yung gawin sa loob ng isang program. Anyway, so this is the first sample program, which is yung square root. Ito yung hindi natin na-discuss nung ating computer science intro. Parang pinagpaliba natin. So, ito yung itsura ng isang square root na program. So, yun niya. It's a program that accepts a number and outputs a number. And ang gagamitin nga natin is yung Babylonian method. Ano ba tong Babylonian method? So, itong method na to, medyo luma yan to. Thousands of years old na to. Pero kaya niya maghanap ng square root. Using approximation. Hindi siya talaga exacto makakuha ng square root, pero makakabalik siya sa atin ng isang approximation na good enough para sa ating use. Okay, so paano nga to? Start muna tayo sa isang number, then i-half natin siya. So most likely, unless number na yun is 4, hindi yun yung square root. So itong half na to is just a guess, an estimate kung ano yung square root. Yung next na estimate niyan is yung value na yun, so that would be yung x, and yung s over x. So, yung s, yun yung number natin. So, kung mara, 5, bago ang kalahati nun is 2.5, kukunin natin yung 2.5, pati yung 5 over 2.5, and a-average natin sila. Yun yung susunod na estimate natin. Then, step 3, uulit-ulitin lang natin, continuously lang natin i-estimate until makuha natin yung desired accuracy. Kasi mahalata nyo dyan, palapit yan ang palapit dun sa actual na square root. So, bigay tayo ng example, let's get the square root of 2. So, yun nga, step 1, kakalati natin siya. So, ito, 1 uh, is obviously not square root of 2 kasi 1 squared is just 1, 1 is not equal to 2. So, Next, estimate tayo. So, we're going to use yung average ng current guess plus yung original number over yung current guess. So, that's 1 plus 2 over 1. All over 2, average niya. And, makuha natin 1.5. So, next natin is 1.5. Pag-check natin yan, 1.5 squared, that's 2.25. Hindi pa rin yan equivalent sa 2, pero lumapit na tayo from 1 to 2.25. Medyo lumapit tayo. Pero yun niya, hindi pa rin. So, apply natin yung uh, ating formula, yung pag-average. Ang makuha natin dyan is 1.4166666 and so on. So, try natin, check natin kung acceptable ba siya. Pag skinware natin 1.416666, ang makuha natin is around 2.006 something. Medyo okay na yun, pero improve pa natin yung accuracy. So, let's apply the Method again, makuha natin is around 1.412 something. And when you square that, uh, makuha nyo is something around 2.00006. And yung number na yun, medyo okay na yun for most cases. So, yun, using this approach, using this technique, nakuha natin yung isang magandang approximation sa square root of 2. Okay, so paano natin yan i-convert? into ating wala programming language. So, ito yung itsura ng ating program in wala. So, we have func square root. Accepts a number, then ito yung mga steps sa kaya niyang gawin, yung kailangan niyang gawin. Start with a guess, which is the half. Habang hindi pa good enough, then babatoyin mo yung guess at number dun sa function na good enough. Then, ulit-ulitin natin i-calculate yung value ng guess. Then, if it's good enough, i-return na natin yung value ng guess. So, here, meron pa rin tayong isang extra na function, which is yung good enough. No, hindi nyo may kita at this point, hindi pa kayo familiar dun sa concept ng functions. Pero yun nga, dadaanan natin yan. Good enough, hindi pa natin na-discuss yan. Ang good enough, gumawa tayo ng isang function na pangalan good enough, ito yung ginagawa niya. So, it checks if the margin of error is acceptable. Then, yun lang. Call niya yung abs dun sa guess times guess minus number. And, 
if it's greater than 0 0.001, it's still not good enough. Otherwise, it would return false. Then yung abs, that's just the absolute value. So if the number is greater than or equal to 0, it would return the number. Otherwise, it would return the negative of the number. One thing lang, pwede natin i-simplify itong code na to mismo dito sa much smaller version na to. Ano, tinanggal natin yung if-else. Kasi, so see later, i-evaluate itong buong statement to ab sub doing greater than 0 0.01. That would be evaluated to true or false. Which is exactly what yung ginagawa nung previous code. Anyway, so ito yung full code. Let's run through the full code using yung ating number na 2. So let's start off. We're going to call the square root using 2. So yung variable natin na number would be assigned the value 2. Then yung guess natin, we're going to declare a variable guess. And the initial value is just the half of the number. Then proceed tayo dun sa next statement which is yung while not good enough. So dito sa statement na to, kukol natin yung good enough. So move tayo sa good enough. Ang pinasa natin sa good enough ay yung guess which is 1 and yung number which is 2. So pasok tayo dun sa good enough. Yun nga, nasahinan natin yung mga variables dun sa ating function arguments. Then i-return natin yung value ng abs guess times guess minus number said greater than 0. Pero yun, yung abs, kailangan pa natin siyang i-call bago natin ma-fully ma-evaluate to. Yung guess times guess minus number, that's just negative 1. Kasi 1, 1 squared minus 2 is just negative 1. So, abs negative 1 yung susunod na papasukan. So, yung function na abs, we're going to evaluate it. You're going to execute it. Is the number greater than or equal to 0? So, that's false. So, pumunta tayo dun sa else. So, re-return natin na value is the negative of negative 1. And that's just 1. So, i-return natin is 1. Balik tayo dun sa good enough kasi natapos na yung abs. Kaya dito, check na natin yung value na 1 is it greater than 0 0.01. So, the value is greater. So, it's not good enough. Kaya ang re-return natin na value is true. So, yung while natin, yung while na structure natin, yung while statement natin, it would execute as long as true yung conditions na nakalagay sa kanya. So, we're just going to continue. Kaya rito, i-recalculate natin yung value ng guess. So, the guess right now would be, as we mentioned dun sa ating run, original na run-through, is just 1.5. So, with 1.5, Babalik tayo dun sa taas, not good enough, and we're going to run through it again. Yung guess times guess, minus numbers. So instead na 1 na natin, we're going to get 2.25. So 2.25 minus 2, that would be 0 0.25. Pero absolute value pa rin natin siya. So in this case, absolute value of 0 0.25. And kung sundan natin yung kanina, if number is greater than or equal to 0, which is it is, hindi na naan kailangan yung apply yung negative. Kaya yun, ang re-return na value ng abs is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is greater than 0 0.01. So, yeah, that's true. Kaya ang re-return pa rin niya is true. So, babalik lang siya, ulitin niya yung pag-run. And, bukuha natin is bagong number, which is 1.4167. And, a bunch of steps later, and yun nga, kung sundan mo siya using paper or follow through, that should be left as an exercise to you. So you'll get something around 1.4142 something something something. And pag skinware nyo siya, makukuha nyo is around 2.00006. Kaya kung sundan natin yung code natin, makukuha na yung value is, at this point is 0 0.00006. And, yan, absolute value lang niya is just the same number. Kaya, ang magiging value na absolute value of guess times guess minus number is not greater than 0 0.001. Kaya, itong not good enough will now return false. So, nag-return siya na false. So, yung while loop natin, hindi na tayo tutuloy sa kanya. We will now proceed dun sa return guess. And, ang i-return na value natin is around 1.412 something.
So, yun yung paano tayo nagwo-walk through sa code. It's imperative, so it's step by step. Start ka from the top, baba ka lang until ma-reach ka ng isang function. When you reach to a function, you're going to have a new sub-problem. Later na na hindi discuss kung paano nakashare yung data kung saan-saan sa kanila. Pero at this point, you should think na pag nag-call ka ng isang function, meron ka ng isang bagong lugar na pinaglalaroan. So, wala ka ng pakialam outside ng black box na yun. And in the same way, kung outside ka ng isang function, wala kang pakialam dun sa loob ng isang function. Yan nga, the whole black box concept. Ayun. And just run through the functions. Tain may return value niya. Plug in may return value niya kung saan man siya kinol. And just run through it. And yun na yung ating unang sample program. As you might have noticed, meron mga boxes na links na lumabas dun sa ating screen, mga annotations. And yun yung mga lessons kung saan dinidiscuss yung concept na pinagsasabi ko at that point. Kung hindi nyo nakita yung mga boxes na yun, scroll down na lang kayo, may kita nyo yung list dun sa links mismo dun sa ating page. So, that's it for our first sample program.